Rosh Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the 2019 and coronavirus that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those who need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Hi guys, so our discussion for Today, for this video, is about Marple Annex 5, Prevention of Pollution by Garbage from Ships. Of course, brought to you by your truly, your instructor. Okay, so with regards to our discussion for today, it's all about the Marple Annex 5. And yes, it's the first topic that we will be having for the midterm. So, when we talk about uh, Annex 5, it's about the... Prevention of pollution, the garbage from ships. We cannot deny the fact that uh, there are a lot of sources of garbage on board the ship. Because, of course, we are living on board the ship and uh, we are using uh, packaging materials, we are using different uh, uh, materials which includes its packaging or on container itself or on food itself can be considered as garbage. The purpose why the, uh, of this Annex 5 natin is to eliminate and reduce the amount of garbage being discharged into the sea from ships. Now, uh, the Annex 5 applies to all ships whatsoever operating in marine environment from merchant ships to fixed or floating platforms to non-commercial ships like pleasure crafts and yachts. Now, so all types of ships covered ng ating Annex 5. Unlike the other annexes, it would be specially required to some type of ships, but this one, it will be applied to all types of ships. And now, this one includes to our platforms, no? or fixed or floating platforms natin that can be found at sea. Now, let us uh, uh, wrap, uh, ano, unwrap first the word garbage. Kasi, when we, when if we'll be keeping using the garbage word, uh, it has a lot of meanings. But in this Annex 5, they specifically uh, define garbage, you know, and that is all kinds of victual, domestic, and operational waste, in excluding fresh fish and parts thereof generated during the normal operation of the ship and liable to be disposed of continuously or periodically. Actually, kung titignan natin yan sa PDF, uh, sorry, sorry sa, sa Marple na bago, the word victual was actually replaced with the word uh, food waste already. Allow me to show you. So, this is the uh, I got a PDF file of the Consolidated Marple 2017. And if we will look into the definition of our of our garbage. It says here that all kinds of food waste, domestic waste and operational waste, all plastic, cargo residues, incinerator ashes, cooking oil, fishing gear, kumbaga, they, they actually uh, tried to, to renew or to make a new definition and upgraded uh, the, the definition of garbage into the uh, Marple Consolidated Edition of 2017. But because uh, we are using the older version, then we'll just stick to what is on our IG and what is given to us on our M rooms. No? So going back to our discussion. Now going back to our discussion, we will be defining garbage as all kinds of victual, domestic, and operational waste. 
and that excludes the uh, fresh fish. No? We will uh, expand more about the victual, domestic, and operational waste. Pag sinabi natin victual, these are your gar garbage no? that comes from the food or food provisions. Of course, for example, pagkakain ka, and then there, uh, there are uh, uh, food residues, mga tirang pagkain, no? So, it is considered as garbage, no? And a victual garbage, no? Operational. Uh, we'll go, let's go first with the domestic. Para, sorry. Domestic uh, gener generated mainly in the accommodation spaces on board the ship. So, when you drink, for example, a uh, uh, can of Coke, no? It's yung can na yun is considered to be as, do as, as domestic waste natin. Yung mga packaging materials of all the things to uh, yung toothpaste ng shampoo, ang carton, no, it, it all belongs to the domestic waste, no. And the third is your operational, no, which is in the middle one. The operational waste is defined as solid wastes, including slurries, that are collected on board during normal maintenance or operations of a ship and is used for cargo stowage and handling. So mainly, uh, this waste are generated during uh, uh, the operation of the ship. So, we cannot deny or uh, we cannot just uh, disregard this type of waste because it is naturally or it is uh, it comes along with the operation of the ship. No? So, for example, uh, if, if the, 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 your, your ship is carrying a certain, a certain cargo that has damages or, or something like that, no? na, na container niya, no? so it is considered as our waste no uh, but we should not ano, we should not uh tawag dito, we should not mistaken it with the other annexes if uh if the other annexes no if the other annexes uh includes the the waste that can be found in the annex 5 ang more stringent na, na annex yung masusunod so for example if we have operational waste here and it covers oil then oil if noxious liquid substance, if harmful packaging, then it belongs to that annex no? and not in the garbage. To continue, uh, fresh fish and parts thereof is not considered garbage. No? So you can throw it actually uh, at sea because uh, it's not uh, included in the definition of garbage. Okay. Now, uh, proceeding to the next word. Because according to our our uh, lesson six, we will be we should define terminologies that will be used in our lesson. So one there is the garbage, the word garbage, and the second is the nearest land. So when we say nearest land, gagamitin natin to siya mamaya whenever we will be defining what are the requirements for uh, requirements kung ano ka uh, gaano kalayo itatapon yung garbage natin. So you will be dealing with this word, no, with this word, uh, more of more sa sa mga sa description on how far would you throw a garbage. Now, nearest land. Pag sinabi natin nearest land, ang basis ng nearest land natin is the baseline. No, so for example, if it's 12 miles from the nearest land, so it means that from the baseline it is 12 miles. Okay, got it? Sige. Special area. We'll be dealing with special areas now. It means that these are sea area where for recognized technical reasons in relation to its oceanographical and ecolog ecological condition, prevention of sea pollution by garbage is required. We have actually a list later on that I'll be giving to you on what are the things that you need to do or what are the, the garbage that is allowed to be thrown or to be disposed uh, on special areas and outside special areas. But to know what are the special areas, kindly check your modules. There is a list there of the special areas uh, or area na mga included on the Annex 5 special areas. Okay? To continue. This is a general rule. As we go along later on, you need to bear in mind na ang bawal ng mga plastic dito. Uh, not preferring to the person, but the plastic no, that is garbage at sea, no? Plastics, uh, disposal into the sea of all plastics is prohibited. Kasi lulutang siya and at the same time, it takes years to decompose or actually some of it, you know, 
very very long time pa to 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 ano to decompose no so plastics throwing of plastics is actually not allowed and we all know that the effect of throwing this uh, plastic at sea would harm the marine environment we have to take note that taking care of the marine environment is very important for us seafarers because you know we are seafarers seafarers first word is sea and that is uh that talks about the marine environment you know we have to take care of it because we are working at sea you know sea is where your ship floats Sh ship is where you are working so definitely you are actually you are actually working at sea as well and you have to take care of your working place so that is why taking care of the marine environment is very important for seafarers and bawal ang mga plastic to continue disposal of any materials regulated by this annex is prohibited from fixed or floating platforms at uh, a distance of 500 miles from the platform bawal magtapon doon uh, food waste may be permitted food waste uh, take note food, food waste may be permitted when they have been passed through a commuter or grinder so a commuter or a grinder is a machine that, uh, that is found on board a ship wherein it it chunks up or it, it grinds the the waste into smaller bits no and as per regulation you have to it, it should be 25 millimeters or less no and it should be the, the if the platform is you know 12 nautical miles no from the nearest land no? from the land uh within the alongside or within 500 meters it may be permitted no you are you may be allowed actually to to throw or to to dispose your food waste which have been undergone the uh, commuter or your grinder okay again so for for platforms which are located 12 nautical miles from the nearest land no allowed daw tayo na mag dispose ng food waste na dumaan sa commuted or sa commuter rather or sa grinder natin no so definitely commuted waste is allowed no within 500 meters for a platform which is 12 nautical miles away but you have to to remember that it should be 25 millimeters and size ng ating pagkominute ng ating food waste okay to continue these are the requirements naman natin no this is our second objective is actually uh uh, to tell you, uh, my objective is to tell you that plastics are not allowed to be thrown at sea. And the third one is to set the boundaries. No? We have to set the boundaries and identify what are the special regulations with regards to the dispose of the garbage. So as, as you can see here, within, within 3 nautical miles, no garbage is allowed to be thrown. And at all times, you are not allowed to throw plastics synthetic ropes synthetic fishing nets plastic garbage bags incinerator ashes and plastic products which may contain toxic or heavy metal residues all of those things are not uh, permitted or it is prohibited no not allowed within three nautical miles no garbage is allowed beyond the three nautical miles no beyond this three nautical miles we are allowed to throw or to dispose rather I keep on using the word throw we, we are allowed to dispose you now cleaning agents uh, which was uh, uh, used natin oh, uh, for example cleaning the cargo hold or something like that you may check your your modules no, on what is meant when cleaning agents need natin dito there is a table on your modules that states on what are the distances that uh, what are the conditions and distances no, where you can uh, dispose the garbage at the same time comminuted waste no, are allowed beyond three nautical miles no, from the nearest land no, as long as it should be 25 
millimeters natin yung size ng comminuted waist natin. Now, within 12 nautical miles, take note, within 12 nautical miles, yung itong mga bagay na to or yung itong mga garbage na to is not allowed to be disposed uh, beyond 12 nautical miles. Pwede na. So it means that beyond 12 nautical miles, we are allowed to dispose cargo residues, not in wash water, animal carcasses. When we say our animal carcasses, these are our, our animals that had died during the during the voyage. No? Cargo residues in wash water and food waste natin, which are not comminuted it is allowed to be discharged or to be disposed no, beyond 12 nautical miles. And take note, this is only for outside special area no, or areas which are not considered as special. No? So, hindi ka special. No? If you're not a special area, then may just, uh, hindi stringent yung regulations natin. We go with your special area. No? What happens within the special area? More stringent tayo. And take note, as you can see in our illustration, within 12 nautical miles, wala siyang ilan inalaw na i-dispose. No? Take note that our special area is a very delicate and a very special area where the environment and the economical reason, something like that, no? uh, the dispose of garbage is not allowed. And that is within 12 nautical miles, hindi pwede tayong mag-dispose. Beyond 12 nautical miles, allowed na natin, ina-allow na natin si cleaning agents. Comminuted food waste. The same thing. It should be 25 millimeters in size. And the cargo residues in wash water. Now, previously, outside or, or area, uh, outside the special area, ina-allow si animal carcasses. But in our special area, hindi siya allowed. Food waste as well, not comminuted food waste, is not allowed as well on our uh, special area. And also cargo residues, not in wash water, it is not allowed in special area. Oops. So medyo maraming mga pinagbabawal na dito sa special area. And as a general rule, as I said, ang mga plastic bawal talaga. Ha? Tandaan nyo, ang mga plastic bawal. And at the same time, all the synthetic ropes, synthetic fishing nets, and all of those things listed sa baba, no? Uh, they're not allowed to be disposed at sea. Uh, these are additional, actually. We have already met all the learning objectives for, for this video. One is to define the terminologies that we'll be using and to tell you what are the what are the uh, conditions to be followed or the regulations that is being uh, followed no, as per Annex 5 and at the same time to tell you that plastics are not allowed. No? Plastics are not allowed to be uh, uh, disposed at sea and at the same time uh, what are the things you need to consider whenever you are in a special area. This, this one is, a, uh, is an additional uh, information. The garbage record book actually uh, is uh, should should be found on board the ship, no? all types of ships. No? Each discharge operation, discharge of a garbage, no? Complete, completed of, or, or completion of your incineration process, no? incineration, sinusunod natin yung garbage, no? shall be recorded in the garbage record book. Take note. All operations regarding the garbage should be uh, recorded into your garbage record book. Take note. You have your ORB as well. Ganon din yung function, di ba? You have to record all the oil uh, movements, all the oil-related uh, things on the oil record book, no discharge and something, something like that. And uh, sea wage, actually, there is also. Now, in our, on our garbage record book, uh, all operations regarding the discharge of the garbage is uh, should be recorded on our garbage record book. What should be recorded in our garbage record book? The date, the time, and the position kung kailan ka magtatapon ng basura or kailan mo tinapon yung basura. Usually, on board the ship, the one who keeps this one or the one na naglalag is the si chief officer. So, as, as far as I can remember on board our ship, no, uh, the, the chief officer keeps this one. And 
if there is an incinerated waste, no, uh, the in-charge personnel would actually sign on this book, on this record book, uh, to confirm if there is an incineration process that had happened. Now, you might be asking, uh, what happens to the waste, especially with the plastic, na hindi tinapon sa dagat, and they're not allowed to be, of course, discharged at sea? What happened to that waste? will actually be uh, brought to the reception facility. Responsibility po ni flag state or ni port state that whenever a ship is, uh, uh, is uh, or will be ducking alongside now, there should be some uh, reception facilities who, who will receive this garbage no? uh, up, to, up to the time na, na mapupuno yung... yung, yung uh, garbage collection area natin on board the ship but uh, kailangan siyang i-keep natin on board the ship ang garbage na yun and whenever na pagdating natin sa puerto that's the time that it will be discharged in a reception facility so there should be a reception facility who will receive this garbage and uh, this garbage record book shall be kept for two years after the last entry so as an evidence of what had transpired what had happened uh, with regards to the garbage, it, it is all recorded and the port state control, uh, sorry, the port state control and the flag state control may check on this one, the garbage record book, kung ano yung, ano yung ginawa niyo sa garbage. Once na hindi nagtali yung mga garbage or once na hindi niyo na, na, na record yung garbage, uh, yung mga disposal ng garbage natin dito or may, merong discrepancy na for example, tinapon mo siya at a location na hindi recommended sa ating annex, then uh, there is a tendency that your ship will be detained or it will not be allowed to sail. No? So, prerogative na yun ng ating uh, inspector or ng surveyor natin. So, that's it. And for any concerns, you know where to find me, you know where, how to contact me. You may email me for your clarifications. You can also send a private message on my M rooms. My contact number is always uh, ready for your calls or for your text message if you want something. And my FB page as well is uh, really welcome for your queries and for your questions. But please, if you have concerns, if you have questions, if you have clarifications, don't forget or don't hesitate actually to uh, uh, contact me. So that's all for today. And if you're also experiencing difficulty with, with accessing your M rooms, please do message me. Okay? And I hope that you will be viewing this video uh, uh, at your most convenient time. And I hope that uh, you'll be safe always. No? We want to see you here at school. We want to see, I want to see you uh, at, at school, no? uh, safe and sound. And we wish uh, uh, all the best or all, uh, we wish everyone to be safe amidst this pandemic. So. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'll see each other on the next Annex, which is your Annex 6, Air Pollution. So, thank you guys and see you around.